Okay, guys. What were we doing then? We were playing around with the bucket, being silly. Just as I was kind of ending that episode. Uh, so here are two cars and some random car. This car looks a lot more sturdy, but slower. And these cars look quite fast, but they were really, really rubbish. He's fixing that car up for us. Uh, so what do we have to do? Well, not only have I now found the map button, but I've actually located the objective button. Go and see if he sends us get a weapon. So uh, that was the nice man who lived up here that we stole the bats from. Well, didn't steal. I don't know if we brought it back though for his son or whoever that was. Uh, there's no icon on the doors to tell you if you're allowed to click them or not, which is quite annoying. This is invisible wall. Okay. <clears throat> What do we have going on in here? Look at all this stuff. Nice. Oh, bucket. Can I have your bucket? I will bucket them today. Okay then, so let's have a little talk hey, with Chenzo, him. I need some kind of gun. Yes, I do. Hey, Tom, I think this would do the trick. I thought he was just going to randomly lift the gun up and shoot me then. Oh, damn it. Is it a gun? Oh, yes. I thought it was just going to give me a really like, I wasn't planning on using it anyway. Rubbish gun. Thanks. Um, that isn't the detective special type thing, isn't it? Is it? Do I have to walk past him to get it? Oh, I get it. I just press E. Yeah, there we go. Ah, that's S and W Model Ten M and P. What? Okay. That's uh, an interesting gun. Um. I wonder if I'm allowed to test it. I better not. I've got uh, ammunition in the bottom as well. Now I'll hide that. And I think now we speak to him. Talk to Ralph. He's Ralph. Are you Ralph? No, you're not Ralph, are you? You gotta go, so the Don don't get Yeah, I, I don't think you were Ralph. You're Ralph. Later, Tommy. You're not Ralph? Is he Ralph? Who's Ralph? Hey Ralphie. Me and the boys yeah, have he's got Ralph. a job to do and I need some work. Okay. <laughs> and hey Tommy. I got this here, baby. It has about 40 horsepower and goes almost 60 miles an hour. Ooh. 60 miles an hour. We're living on the edge here. Okay. Oh, wait. Not this car that you were just working on. This car over here. Ain't nothing swanky, but it's it's a good enough drive. You get into it easy. You just take, take, take this little baby and mm -hmm. stick it in yep. here. Uh -huh. Pry it a little, and when it clicks, you got it. So wait, you just make cars a bit rubbish, really. It's a piece of cake. Thanks, Ralphie. I did not think you were going to say cake then. You learned how to steal a bolt B. Ah, so he teaches me to steal cars as well. That's nice to know. It means I can steal this car later on now. Okay, so uh, come on guys, get in. Let's go get some protection money. Got a gun. I can cause some trouble. Yeah! Okay, they're getting in. I like how the doors on the back always open like backwards. Looks really weird. That's it, come on. Up we go, up we go. Okay, so what do we need to do now? We need to collect our protection money. Um, Where's the protection money? We'll check the map when we get to the drive. There we go. Cool. Um, okay. okay. That was weird. Oh, it started the radio back up. Right, just quickly, I know you don't want to see this, but I'm going to quickly have a look at the... Uh, uh, that's not right. Oh, what am I doing? How do I get to car? Yeah, there we go. Car. Um, radio. We've got auto gearing, replace car, clutch on, speed limit. Uh, nope, there is no radio. Nope, no radio. I don't believe it. I want radio. What the? Why is there no radio? False feedback. Ooh. I might just randomly change the options because I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Probably am. Um, Okay, exit out of there. Open up the tab. Right, there, we have to go there. So. Right, move! I was here first. Yay! There we go, we got out. Now, this way. Best driving ever. Immediately drive out and drive the wrong one. Isn't it this way we have to go? Why not just my own stick model than that? I have come the wrong way. Okay, we'll make a U turn. No, 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 no. I'm still here. There we go. This is actually quite good at driving, admittedly. Look at the speed. It's uh, not bad. 
not very good at turning. I've yet to meet a car on here that would be good at turning. Also, the white thing on the side of this car was really distracting me then. Uh, I have to keep looking them up, but I have a very short term memory. Especially since, you know, I'm not 100% sure half the time where I'm actually meant to be going. I just kind of make up my own rules as I go along. Uh, what's this way then? Is that not where we're meant to go? It looks like it. Uh, we'll drive round, and I think we sit the next road I see on the right, and we should be on the bridge road. This guy's going to park up or something in here. Oh no, they're doing the smart thing and turning properly. I thought that it wasn't me, it was you. Yeah, there is some weird light glitches, admittedly, in this game. But uh, I've not really found a way to get rid of them. This guy in front of me is now going to go purposely slow because I crashed into his car. Look at that guy stop for him. Not for me. What the hell? Move! Are you joking me? What the hell was that all about? That guy would just not move. They should have really thought about it a bit more. That If they're going to have citizens stop the computer cars, why don't citizens stop for my cars? It can't be that much harder to code. Then again, it's an old game, so we can forgive quite a lot of things that go wrong in this game, to be honest. Ooh, where are we going now? Um, it wasn't me. Oh, it's okay, it's only a taxi. <laughs> I feel no remorse ever. Yeah, a bit of Paul though, they didn't have any way to change the radio, and they thought somehow it would be an okay idea to like not change it at all. Uh, where are we going to be going? It's not just to the right of me, is it? No. Is it in here? Is it? No. I'm an idiot, I'm not looking at the radar in the top left, which tells me exactly where I'm going to go. MOVE! Good God, these people! It's like driving in the real world. Um, okay, so I take it we all get out now? No. Just you. Okay, so we go in one by one and collect the money, maybe? That sounds about right. This music does grow on you after a while, to be honest. Um, I've been a little slow on the uploads and everything recently, but I have actually got a rather nice treat coming if it all works out and everything goes 100% perfect. I should be hopefully getting a second kind of series going alongside this series and then after I finish Mafia I will go on and do... what the hell is this guy doing? After I finish Mafia I will be... I think I'm going to get out of here. After I finish Mafia I'm going to be going on to Mafia 2 obviously. No I'm not going to get out. Yep, you're going to walk. Get in. Bring your sack of money with you. Okay so we're not going to get out of those points. Didn't actually tell me any kind of information I like, don't get out. Oriental beer, that's what I'm talking about. Right, let's get a move on. Do 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 monorail. I better check actually if this is a bridge, because if it is, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Um yeah, it sort of is. Okay, we'll turn around and go over the bridge. Eventually, I've heard that you start to actually realise like where everything is. So eventually I'll start to realise certain things that enable me to actually notice where I am on the map. Uh, this way, I think. That way is the tunnel that leads back to the other part of the town. This is the bridge to the third part. I like the kind of, I the kind of idea of having three islands is quite nice. However, they didn't go with kind of like how Grand Theft Auto does, where you have one island and unlock the others kind of thing. They went more with the fact of you have three islands and you're going to be travelling all over the three of them with no idea what you're doing. And I've also noticed that, you know, as a taxi driver, I drove five passengers from destination A to destination B. Perhaps sometimes in between they wanted me to go somewhere else. But, uh, what am I doing differently now? Now I'm just driving around gang members to go collect protection money from destination A. The destination B, C, D, and E. I suppose the only difference is I'm not picking people up and uh, dropping them off every five seconds. 
But still, it's quite a slow process, isn't it? Oh. Oh my god. Right, now we have to pull over. And everyone get out, so we can show them that we're part of the Mafia. Come here. Yep. Yep, I know I did. Okay. Fair enough. As you can see, we're part of the Mafia. I'm not doing anything. Here is all my monies. There you go. So the police don't mind us running red lights, but they do not like us speeding. They don't like us speeding in front of them as well. I like how those three police officers and the three of us. That was rather weird. Right, come on everyone. In you get again. And then we can set off on our merry way with the speed limiter on this time. Gotta admit though, as much as I hate kind of like how slow it is with starting up your car and everything, it does actually bring a lot of realism into this game where you kind of have your key in your car and it just goes do 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 as it kind of slowly starts. So I thought that was quite nice. Right, so which turn off do I need? Uh, second turn off, and then we go left and then right. Fair right enough. Okay, my foot down because this is the first turn off. Woman in the road. Woman just randomly walking across the street. It's okay, I won't die. This one. Maybe the police do mind me going through red lights, but only if they're there. Maybe that's what happens. Nope, I was here first. That was actually quite a nice little slot in there. I'm starting to get quite used to the controls of driving, to be honest. I did think I would at first. Uh, I did change them myself, which sometimes is why you get rubbish at uh, controls if you change them yourself. Move! Okay. There we go. Right, we'll just park on this nice, lovely pavement. You can sod off. Get out of the way. Why is that guy getting inside my car? He's just vanished into my car. He stood staring into my soul inside my car. Yes, get out. Oh god. We're gonna have to run him over, aren't we? Where's he going? Get out. Okay, so I think because that guy walked inside our car, it meant that we couldn't get in properly. What is he doing? Get in the car. There you go. Now we're gonna take some good here. Yeah, okay. All oh, right, so we own the motel as well. Fair enough. Do do. Woo. Excuse me, innocence bystander. Oh dear. Ignore that. No one will know. Oh my god, it's miles out of town, isn't it? Um, how are we gonna get there? That long road over there. I think I might have come the uh, completely wrong way then. Oh yeah, I noticed my flicking the map up and down is quite annoying. Uh, but other than just cutting that out, there's not really much I can do about that, except if I had a copy of the map myself. It's not actually a bad idea, I might try and get a copy of my map up on uh, the spare laptop I've got near me. That way at least I've got a kind of rough idea of where I'm going. And we'll just drive over here. Okay, so, what we're going to want to do is drive all the way up to the second island by those things, or we could take the train track. I don't know if any trains come, so this could be a very, very bad idea. Excuse me. Is it, yeah, the, it's, it's the train track just going to vanish there. Yeah, we're not allowed to go that way. Invisible wall. Wonderful. Oh, do not get my car stuck. Here we go. Come on, car. Full speed, full speed, full speed. I wonder what that thing is in the bottom left. Every now and then I just get a random red circle with an exclamation mark in. Don't know what that means. Maybe that's starting the car out without a clutch or something? I don't know. It's automatic, I shouldn't need to do anything like that, so, yeah. I like how none of us have 100 health anymore. Probably from random crashes I've been having. Please. Oh, really? Why is it half invisible? Can I just get away from that one? It's 
police in front of me. I'll just drive behind them. Ha! Huh. Got away from it, even though the police are directly in front of me. Um, why can't Sir Robin go in uphill? Excuse me. Wait, where am I going? Oh, this way. I didn't have to go back to the second island. Though. The road actually had to be on was my third island. Yeah, yeah to airport. To airport. Well, let's turn off that speed limiter. Go a little bit fast, even there's a police somehow. Probably not the best thing to do then. He just crashed into that fire hydrant, right? And then got out, and the police did nothing. Are they simple? They seem to be simple. There we go, the police turned off. I can speed now. Woo. Oh, they're doing some construction work. you got to admit, though, how all the cars act on the road is quite interesting. You even had there, they couldn't drive, so they uh, went up to the other side of the road, and the actual car that was behind me gave way. So it is quite a complex little system they've got. I quite like this little motorway, to be honest. This is quite nice. I'm absolutely speeding past these guys as well. Larry did well with the car, yes he did. I wonder how much faster we could get a car, that'd be cool. If we get a car all the way up to 160, or is that there just to mess with our minds? Oh god. I wonder if I can outrun them, probably. We'll just outrun them. My, my car's faster than the police. Nice. Oh, there's our destination. Ta-da!